going to be finishing our conversion app today. That means getting the user input, then doing the conversion calculation, and displaying the result. We'll also get rid of a bug that causes the app to crash if the user selects a button without having typed anything in. A good place to start is to compare the code you wrote last session with the code we provided above. If you had any trouble with the steps last time, you might be able to fix your problem this way. The next thing we'll want to do is get the user's input and put it into a double variable. If you've forgotten how to do this, check back on Lesson 3 of this unit for a refresher. Now, we we'll want to make a variable to hold the result of conversion. But how do we get this number? You'll need to use a different formula for each type of conversion. You can find the formulas you need in the file called conversionformulae.txt, which is attached to this lesson. To be clear, we'll need to use a different formula for each possible radio button that the user might select. Once we have the value that the user wants, we should print it to the screen in the text view. A nice touch would be to add the proper units to the end too. For instance, if the result is 4 Celsius, that's what should be printed on the screen. We're making good progress now. The rest of the steps involve polishing the app and making it more usable. Let's focus on one particular problem now, results with a ton of digits. In most cases, the result to two decimal points will be enough for the user. In order to round the result, we're going to use something called the decimal format, which lets us decide how the result is formatted. We're going to talk more about this in our next video. See you then. Bye, Supercoders.